Could a thief steal your house? That might sound ridiculous, but crooks are using a sophisticated deed fraud scheme that makes it possible. Eight on your side, consumer investigator Shannon Bacon has a warning tonight for all homeowners. If you've ever bought a house, you know it's a lengthy process filled with lots of paperwork and agencies that double check everything. So you may be surprised at how easy it is for a thief to steal your house without ever showing their face. To be the dining room and taking these sliding doors out and, and make it in the French door. It took John Witt Jenkins a long time to get this home. He bought the land in Dunedin in 1998 for just $15,000. Then, in 2003, he started building the two-story house brick by brick, taking him three years. I built this house for under $100,000 with, you know, the sweat equity that I put into this. Like a lot of us, from time to time, he checks the value of his investment. When he checked Zillow in 2019, he couldn't believe what he saw. I'm like, why is Zillow saying my house is recently sold? And for $160,000, when the market value is like, you know, three fifty dollars at the time and stuff. So I'm panicking. That panic turned to fear when he went to the county property appraiser's office and discovered this deed had been filed with his forged signature, showing he sold the house. And I said, let's look at some carriage footage when this person tried to record this deed. And it was like it was done online. I'm like, you just allow anybody just to send documents and you just go with it with any type of authenticity, any type of, you know, verification like that? Yeah, that's just what we do. So you learned that day that just filing that document is all someone needs to do to take your house. That's it. The deed looks legit, but according to the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, it's fake. And the notary stamp that made this official, you guessed it, it's fake too. They just gave him my house on probably two hours worth of work of electronically transmitting those documents. Wow, and your I, house that you built. With my hands. For three years, nights and weekends is when I worked on this house. It took Jenkins two months to get his house back. Four years later, Plant City real estate broker Michael Bogstead was arrested and charged with scheme to defraud. Pinellas County detectives allege he stole at least six houses, including Jenkins's house. Bogstead detectives say created fraudulent deeds and fictitious mortgage documents and then transferred ownership to various entities so he could either take out a mortgage or sell to an unsuspecting buyer. Bog said pleaded not guilty, and his attorney tells me he has no comment. If you're completely unaware, it can happen. In Jenkins' case, Jenny Restrepo of Synergy Title Partners tells me her office caught and turned over several suspicious Michael Bogstead transactions to law enforcement, including Jenkins' home, which she tells me Bogstead tried to sell. His response was, well, don't worry about it. No one's going to come looking for these anyway. Restrepo tells me she is happy to see an arrest, but that hasn't slowed down deed fraud. Of course you think, well, I live in my house. No one can steal it from me. I have a mortgage on my home, so that's my protection level. And it's not. So what can you do to protect yourself? The key is to find out right away if someone filed fraudulent paperwork concerning your house and to help homeowners fight back, some Bay Area counties have now launched alerts that you can sign up for. If something is filed about your house, you will be notified right away and then you can alert the county and law enforcement. Wow, I feel this guy's pain because I check Zillow from time to time. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people do. And to think that somebody could just take it and it can happen when you're in your house, now he thinks he knows maybe why this could have been his problem, someone targeted him, but I mean, you're at home, it could happen. It can happen, and he does have some suspicions. This can happen to anyone, even if you are living in your home or you have a tenant in the house. I've seen this happen in homes at various price points. In this case, Jenkins tells me that he thinks that his home appeared vacant because he's traveling a lot for work at that time. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office tells me that they believe Box said targeted homes going to auction that appeared to be abandoned or were owned by parties that could not afford to pay the taxes. Wow, I think a lot of people right now doing Zillow, Realtor.com, so how's my house? <laughs> Make sure I own it. Thank you, Shannon. Some great advice, some good tips. Be aware. And if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bank at the telephone number 1855 Bank or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon.